Hey, what's going on, digital world? You don't know. Demon is here taking a quick walk. But yeah, guys, today I want to talk about. I want to talk about a film shoot I went to yesterday. It was for a short film called Citizens. Um, I got a hookup from a friend. He was looking for some kids to play the roles of some of the actors, and I reached out to some friends of mine from Zimbabwe and actually if they wanted to do it they said yes but they didn't have a ride to get to the place so I said okay I'll go one day it's a three day shoot so I went the first day with the family four kids and the mom well the grandmother so I went with them and played a role as an extra good experience you know very small role like as an extra of, of, of an extra basically but cool you know cool beans cool beans very cool beans here yeah. um but the point is it's interesting the personalities that you meet on these shoots like the knowledge that they have and the insight for example i met a guy who he is actually a programmer for ai for AI models and he was telling me like the AI model that he's using right now you know it's called perplexity I've never heard of this AI model before right it's called perplexity and so I checked it out and he told me that it's based on the latest data because it's a Google based AI model nice information then I met some guys, one guy who I met who gave me the actual contact for this film shoot. And I was reminded of how he started out in the film. So first he was making videos, you know, some videos called Tasty English. And because of that, someone saw him and offered him a job on, as a sound engineer on a film. And from there, his career as a sound engineer took off and then he's been getting gigs in you know commercials other short films and his day job is basically a sound engineer right so i asked him did you go to school to be a sound engineer he said no it was just because he had a catalog so it's super important to have a catalog of good work ready so people can find you, people can see it and be willing to work with you without a degree. So this man didn't even have a, he didn't have a degree in sound engineering. He just had the know-how. He built the skills and he had the catalog, right? So I met another guy. He was doing the behind the scenes, behind the scenes shooting for the film, right? So he had this big camera, it's like expensive stuff like, $10,000 camera, you know, million yen camera, two, two million yen cameras, two 10,000, like $20,000 worth of cameras, two heavy, heavyweight guys, heavyweight cameras, yeah? So I was like, yo, you went to school to learn that? And he's like, no, the first time I touched the camera was five years ago. But he had a catalog of work, good work. People saw it, he had his services up, people hired him, he networked and now he's getting gigs constantly. So right there, it shows you guys that if you have the skills, if you have the catalog to showcase and the right networking skills, you can make it in a lot of these creative industries, right? You can make it in a lot of these creative industries. So to recap, the first guy did not go to university. He did not go to university to get a degree in sound engineering. He built up the know-how, he created a catalog, people found him, he offered his services, he networked, and now he's in the industry. Second guy, you know, a videographer. He only touched a camera five years ago. Posted videos on YouTube, bought the right equipment, built a catalog, got the know-how, networked, People found him and now he's in the industry, working, working in the industry, making a living. So if you can't afford a university degree, 
that's not an excuse right that is definitely not an excuse you can make things happen if you build the know-how you can make things happen if you build the know-how right if you build a catalog and if you network get the skills that are necessary yeah so that's the message i want to leave with you guys today yo what skills would you like to get what network but that's what it's all about building the skills and building a network yep that's all it takes good show all. So if you build the skills, you build the catalog, you build the network, you never know what can happen for you, especially in film and creative industry. So yeah guys, hope you like that insight. It was a cool vibe working on the set of a film. It wasn't the first time, but the first time I've been on like a, a proper budget, you know, film. Granted, it was a short film, but proper budget. Like, they had a tank. They had, like, a number of staff. Well organized. You know, let's take a look at some of the clips that I post somewhere around here. Real cool vibes. And I kind of... I can see myself being on more of these sets. You know, being... Stepping into the role of, you know, an actor. Who knows? But... I'm gonna leave that open to the universe. Cause yo, it's a cool vibe. It's fun. We were there from like eight in the morning straight back to like six at night. You felt tired, but you felt like a tired where you feel, you feel kind of a good kind of tired. Like the kind of tired where it's like, yeah, yeah, I did something good today. I did something that that's interesting. I did something worthwhile. I met some wonderful people. It was a good vibe. That kind of tired. You know? So yeah, man. I'm going to kill it right here, guys. Comment down below. What do you think about that? Skills and a catalog can get you into certain industries? Or no? You need a degree. A degree always helps. But if you don't have the assets to build that, to get that right now, don't let that stop you. That's the way I see it. All right, let me kill it right here. So before I go, guys, one last story about networking that I got from this film shoot. There was an actor who they flew in all the way from Atlanta. Now, why did they choose to fly this guy in all the way from Atlanta? Well, because he knew the director. They met at a film festival years ago and they exchanged contacts. They, they stayed Facebook friends. And a few years later, the director calls the actor and says, Hey, I'm doing a short film. I really want you to be in it. Sure, no problem. So he's flown in all the way to Japan to do this short film. So guys, network. Just imagine if he did not get that Facebook contact. Just that simple task, getting that contact, keeping in touch. All right, guys, keep that in mind. All this image, the AI image, it was made with Leonardo. So if you want to make some nice prompts, some nice images, check out Leonardo.ai. All right, and here's where I'm really going to kill it. <laughs> Bless up.